Yeah. Um, we really, we're really proud of this win because we had to earn it, and we knew what we, that we would have to here. And and um, I don't get caught up in, in people's records as much as you look at what they're capable of. You look at their potential, and they have that. Richard is an excellent coach. I mean, there's there's no question about that. And we didn't have a great start, but it wasn't because we weren't prepared, or it wasn't because we took it for granted. Uh, we took too many jump shots to start. And uh, we have to establish our game for us to establish it through the paint. And, and then um, you know, we had some turnovers. They got some baskets in transition. They got some fouls in transition, which is where they're best. And then we settled in. Certainly, and Nick Zeisloff had a lot to do with that. But we knew we were playing a very aggressive, dangerous team. And a team that um, uh, they're young in certain spots, obviously. And, but they've got, they're going to win. I don't have any doubt about that, and they just didn't want it to be today. So um, to us, we, we really, really proud of this win because we found different ways. You know, we grew up inside of the game. I thought our leadership, especially led by our seniors and juniors, was tremendous in this game. Uh, we played over some mistakes. We had guys get better inside of the game and in, in the side of playing over the mistakes. Uh, we kept them off the offensive glass for the most part, which was huge. You know, we played through the foul difference, um, which t to win on the road and, and to have that few free throws, uh, especially when we're getting fouled at the end, that's big uh, for us. But uh, really the leadership and, and the response of the seniors was huge. And, uh, and Max and Nick uh, did a great job. Troy's leadership, on the, especially when it wasn't going well for him, and his leadership in the huddles was tremendous, and Yogi led the whole day. So to me as a coach, that's when you, you feel really good about, about the progress. You, you know it could have been played better, but I'm not sure they could have led better. And it's as far as today. I mean, obviously, I'll feel different tomorrow. We'll have to lead even better on Tuesday night. But um, really, really uh, proud of the way that they uh, responded when it wasn't going well for us offensively. And then Nick just certainly just, you know, uh, Lit everybody up for us, you know. When they, because our guys, obviously it's three points on the scoreboard. But when our guys see him make shots, that's a big, big thing to them. Because, you know, we don't treat Nick like he's the kicker and go stand off on the side and just get ready to do your thing. I and mean, we coach him. His teammates know, you know, that we need him. You know, obviously he hadn't been shooting it great in the games, but uh, he spent a lot of time at it. And um, it was great to see that first one go in for him. And his confidence just grew. And I think our our team's confidence grew because of it. So we're, we're uh, excited to get this victory and have a short turnaround before we play Illinois on Tuesday night. Mike, uh, Tom, do you sense maybe James's injury maybe being a motivating factor for Yogi? Do you sense maybe trying to do a little more shoulder, a little more since no. James went out? No, I think it's, it's like today. They played a little different defensively. I mean, they did a good job of sagging, and, and they didn't guard some of our guys, especially in the first half. They made the lane tougher to get into. And so what happens inside of that is Yogi's got to figure it out. Right, especially when we had some other guys not making not making shots, and we've got to be able to get through the paint, whether it's the post up or the drive. No, Yogi, Yogi's aggressive. I, I think the biggest problem, you know, James scored 24 against Minnesota a year ago. He had a third of our threes in that game, and we missed that spacing. And everybody else gets a different matchup because James isn't in there. But I don't think that's in my mind. We don't talk about a guy having to do more. We talk about the ball moving even better. And I think once we figured out that the, which, which sounds very simple and sometimes in games it's hard, uh, one less dribble, one more pass. And, and the more that you do that, because every game is giving you something, and we felt there was something there in this game that if we, if we were patient with our spacing, we would get it, and, and we did. And it's not going to happen off the initial pass or off the initial side or even in the break. You've got to move it. And I think when guys start thinking they have to do too much is when you run into problems, and we don't want to do that. Never been afraid, I guess, of stepping up for big shots. But this is the second time in three games it's felt like the last 90 seconds maybe of a close win when some other guys, as you said, weren't shooting well, really kind of belonged to him. How how new is that to his game? I know he's had big moments, but just that ability to kind of control both ends in the last minute, no, two minutes. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't look at it like that. He's played so much basketball. He's one assist away from being the tied for the lead and two from being the all-time leader. He makes great passes. Um, his decision making is is good. I've always said he's a great defender, and uh, I don't know if that's different. He's playing with a lot of confidence, and his teammates have a lot of confidence in him because he has a lot of confidence in them. 
the BFL gave you a rough lift when you really started on the first five or six minutes. Mm -hmm. You just have the luxury with this team to have two guys like Nick and Max uh, with all that experience in a game like this. It's key. I mean, it really is because they improve. And and when we when we when we signed both of them, we knew there was a lot of level of improvement that could be made with them. And um, then it's a matter of making it. It's a matter of them buying into that improvement and spending that time doing it. And they do. And um, Max has had a good week. We we did not have an over overly taxing week. We did not have an overly physical week. Um, we had a we we a lot of improvement inside of the week. Didn't look like that at times, but but it will. And and so. Uh, he's improving all the time in all different aspects, as is Nick, and we're fortunate to have both of them. What's the thing Joey King today? Uh, he was outstanding, but I mean, we prepared for that. And and um, it, when you, we went for a shot fake, I made a quick sub because you don't want to go for a shot fake. You want to stay attached to him. We had to figure it out a little bit because they did a great job of moving him around. And um, <clears throat> and I thought Colin Hartman did a good job in the start of the second half when they started him basically in the inside position. And. Um, He's good. I mean, he's he's really good because he can keep backing up because he can get fouled. You know, obviously it's a shock when he misses one. You know, like he missed a couple today, then he misses a free throw. But he's tough, and and he's one of the tougher matchups because I think he's one of the tougher players in our league. And Murphy is going to be ridiculously good. I mean, there's no question about that. So those two did a really good job of, of playing off each other. I thought uh, Conate moved as well as he's moved. You know, in the games that I've watched at the Big Ten, I mean, as far as like covering ground, and we weren't always in the right position. So I think their front line is going to be fine. But I think Joey King, obviously, he creates matchups because he's he's very strong for guards and he's very quick. He can keep backing up for big guys, and you've got to be very alert to where he's at at all times. <coughs> It looked like uh, OG might have taken an elbow or something. How's he doing? He did. They cleared him, though. They cleared him, so he was able to finish the game. So they took him back in, looked at him, did what they had to do, and, and um, he was back. So I think he's I think he's fine. I haven't uh, – he was fine in the locker room. So I didn't get any other update that there was anything more with it. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. Thank, Thank you. you.